Should you be dating someone from Barbados? Hello everybody, welcome back home to my channel, the only place in the world where everyone is family. And today, we have to take a look at the beautiful people of Barbados. Because if you're trying to put a ring on someone special, this might be the island for you. So let's take a look at all the things you need to know. Starting with number 10. You can't be a fool because Bayesian women expect a smart man. And that should come as no surprise when you look at the literacy rate of the country. That thing is like 99%. So these women have been hitting the books. And the last thing they're going to let you do is fool them into something. So when you start trying to court her, you better be ready to be tested. She is secretly going to grill you like a late night professor. And you probably won't know it because you'll be too busy staring at those beautiful eyes. She'll smile, rub your hand, and probably ask you follow-up question after follow-up question. So make sure you don't stumble. And now let's roll to number nine. You might have to get used to eating flying fish. And this one I simply can't explain. It's just like the island fell in love with this fish. So you'll see it pop up in a lot of dishes. So don't be surprised if you get served in many different ways. But don't be scared because Bayesians can cook. Your mouth will be watering as soon as you walk through the door. And the smell of sweet spices will fill up your home. Just make sure you never mess up and bring home the wrong ingredients. And that brings us to number eight. Don't even think of cheating because news spreads fast. They will share information like it's nobody's business. And your personal is no exception. So if you're ducked off in the club with somebody that's not your girl, just know you might be secretly recorded. You might be halfway through a dance and see a very disturbing text message. There's only so many times you can say it's not you in the picture. You'll become paranoid that somebody's following you. I mean, how is she getting this info? But I guess it's time we move to number seven. If you can't satisfy her needs, she will hire a part-timer if she really likes you. I mean, don't feel bad. She didn't throw you completely away. She just needs another guy who has a little more working for him. Maybe something like a working car or a steady job. If anything, you should be happy. Because most women don't even bother to stick around when you're broke. But they're the type of woman that might ride or die for you. And now let's go to number six. If she starts to speak at a speed that you cannot understand, just understand you are in trouble, my friend. Because never have I seen somebody cuss somebody out like a Bayesian. I mean, I couldn't understand everything they were saying, but I know for a fact they were tearing them apart. And that is something you're going to have to expect if you're going to piss them off. So if I can make a suggestion, just make sure you stay on her good side. And that shouldn't be a hard thing to do. Because deep down, she's just trying to love you. And you're being an idiot about it. And now let's roll to number five. Her pretty face comes with a very heavy price because men will see her in public and blitz. And by that, I mean they will be hitting on her. And it's up to you to put them in their place. So I suggest you start hitting the gym because you might find yourself in a situation where you might have to rumble. And no one wants to get beat up in front of their girl. You have to understand that Barbados has beautiful women all over. And if you're not ready, that's not a challenge you should take on. And now let's push to number four. They are natural, motivational speakers. It's almost like dating a life coach. It will start with you feeling down on your luck. And she'll give you a riveting story about how you're the man that's supposed to rule the world. And you won't just feel it with your heart. You'll feel every damn word in your soul. And now let's roll to number three. They have extremely soft skin. I'm talking about the kind you rub on when you're watching Netflix. I, for one, did not know that God was making silk skin. Have you ever been in a packed club and a cutie had to squeeze past you? And all you could think when she pressed up on you was... What in the world is this human being made out of? Because it sure as hell isn't the same thing that I felt. My friend, that is what a Bayesian feels like. And that takes us to number two. They are family centered. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. The good part is that you'll finally have the family that you've been searching for. I'm talking about cookout invitations and they might even buy you some Christmas gifts. But the bad part is they might turn on you if she starts to hate you because mom number two can turn into an enemy real quick. And if she took it to another level and spilled all your business, you might never recover with the family. I mean, you can be married and have three kids with her, and they will still give you the side eye. And now we've reached number one. She might want to travel, so be ready. Because it seems like every girl from Barbados wants to see the world. And that's a good thing because we all need a traveling partner. One that is ready for new adventures. And that, to me, makes her a keeper. So if you see a Bayesian, you basically just met your wife. Now, if you're new to the house, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. And when you're done doing that, click on one of my videos that just popped up, and I'll see you on the next one.